Hello, my name is Uniskevse, and welcome to Majos Part 7. This is going to go over the base, very basic and very complicated sentence structure of Majos, as well as how it can change depending on the context. So, saying it is an SOV language uh, comes with many different asterisks applied to it. So, uh, in reality, it's more like a topic comment based language similar to Japanese in which you introduce a topic with a topic marker and then some kind of comments on it so the object and the verb are just a verb uh, or a verb in the passive form we'll get to that later anyway taking it as a topic comment language this is the general sentence structure so first the sentence initial particle then the location or the time uh, either way uh, the first can come for uh, either one can come before the other, it just matters in level of importance, the most important one comes first. And then same with this general clause of location and time, as well as the topic, all three together. But typically these two are together and then the topic is on its own, and either this or this first. And then the comment, which can consist of a verb, or an object and a verb, or a subject and a verb, depending on if the topic is the subject or the object. This is what makes it so complicated. Whatever is with the topic marker comes first. Then the comment. Verb plus whatever it is. If the topic is the subject, uh, then comment is the verb and the object. If it is the object, comment is the verb and the subject. So this can arise uh, with these several uh, different types of sentence structures can arise. It can be SOV in which S, the uh, subject, is the topic, or OSV, where in which uh, the object is the topic. Uh, just SV, so something does something. Uh, subject is the topic, or OV, uh, the object is the topic, and in this case it is some kind of passive voice or possibly some kind of uh, intransitive verb and then just a, or just a verb in the uh, uh, form, or uh, in just in, typically in the perfect form, and this is entirely inferred. These two, just based on the context with uh, OV, with object as a topic, this would be passive voice, and it would be inferred uh, just if it were the, if this is an object or it is just a subject because it just has a topic marker as before and then just the verb it, it would just regard whatever else is involved in that verb or that process and uh, yeah that is it for Maro's part 7